Evening, Squire. No, good day, guys. How are you? Welcome to Rumble's Fish Room. Um, let's uh, go to the fish room. So, in today's episode, I may have mentioned it in the live stream yesterday, or was it might have been the day before. It depends if I upload this today or tomorrow. I've only got socks on, so hopefully the grass isn't wet. I'm going to put the shoes on because I want to get the chicken eggs as well. All right guys, I don't know if I mentioned it, chickens start laying eggs. Um, they took like, what is it? When did I hatch them? Probably like 11 months to lay. Um, one's warm, so it's just been laid like now. Uh, so we're only getting one a day, so I'm pretty sure only one chicken's laying so far. So they took like 11 months, but we've been through winter. So from what I've been told by the people, um, young chicks in summer, they're more likely to lay when they're younger. But if they come into winter at laying age, there's a good chance that they won't actually lay till the weather warms up. So it was a mixture of things. The weather warmed up and I changed their food and um, they laid. The weather's not warm right this second, but it was warmer, I swear. Anyway, I got my plunger, which is good. Um, it was in the house and I kept forgetting to bring it out. Uh, the reason we need that is because that's how we collect our black worms. And I, and I want to... Um, Crank up the, crank up the, um, what do you call it, the better breeding. I'm going to try to breed the breaders, so we need the black worms to do that. Anyway, let's go fix suction cups for now. Alright, so simple little trick for siphoning. Oh, we're going to drain this tank a bit because I want to catch some fish out of it. Much easier if it's drained. So, put the hose in the tank and just like go like this with the hose it's easier with two hands but see the the residual water in the hose will come out the end and then before you know it you've created a siphon obviously only works if there's water in the hose but nine times out of ten there's already water in the hose um just saves you having to suck on the end of it obviously i made that look harder than it is it's way easier if you use two hands. All right, guys. <clears throat> so, um, I ended up just taking the dividers out. We're taking the suction cups off. They were swinging around. And I was like, I'm going to clean the tank. Because that's what you do when you start pulling tanks apart. I hope that doesn't get infected. Well, we'll see. I guess I'll let you keep you... Uh, I'm trying to work out how to use this camera again. Um, so it's actually not that dirty considering like flower horns in here divided up and I've just stirred the hell out of it and like this is all that's come out and most of that bigger stuff is actually uneaten food where one of these bays was empty and the foods come under the bay. Um, so I'm not that sad with how dirty this tank is. Um, but anyway, I'll give the tank a clean. I'm not going to town. I'm going to give it a bit of a clean and then uh, I'll probably use that, like, drain it into this drain pipe. I'll just use a garden hose to clean it, I think. And then I've got to redo the suction cups. They're all up here. I, one thing I regret about this fish room, I think most of you already know it, I regret that I don't have a workbench. But uh, yeah. Um, I'm going to have a big spruce up at the shed in the next week or two and um, once that spruce up happens, look at these boys, they're like, what's going on here? Um, somebody's asked me if I have any flower horns for sale, now that I think of it, I could probably sell them that boy there. <coughs> um, I was kind of saying to him, he said he might be interested in mature flower horns, so 
just going to offer him the Thai silk nice and cheap. Um, he's completely healthy, but his cock has never gone back to what it was since he had hole in the head, but his hole in the head wasn't bad enough to even scar, so I caught it real early. Um, but the other point behind that was I really should give him some more space and I want to see if he pops first and then I don't want to sell him unless he, his head starts to pop again. Uh, but anyway, I'm going to clean this tank. Alright, so now the fun part begins. Oh, that one's already done. That's four. That's five. That's six. That's seven. I keep putting them in the wrong hand. That's eight. Nine. Ten. Halfway there. What are, what are these ones? Oh, these are like... I think these are like the clear plastic ones that I bought were too small. Is that 11? 12. 13. That one's already done. 14. Alright, I'll get these done and I'll be back. Alright guys, so now you guessed it. We're putting them back on. Putting them on is definitely more time consuming. Um, but... We'll get it done. I got a sore finger because I shot myself with a nail gun, but a pin gun, sorry, correct terminology. A nail gun would be much worse. But it's been almost a week and it's still sore. Um, so if you're wondering how to put these on, step one, put it in the big hole. Step two, slide it across to the small hole. Make sure you put them on the right side, so they're facing the glass, not facing the divider. I don't really think this is the sort of thing that needs a tutorial, but we're here now. So these suction cups here, I don't expect them to last more than a couple of months. Even a month, that is... I don't know. We'll see. I ordered a hundred yesterday, so... That'll give me a couple of changes. This tank takes 40 by itself. Why can't I get it on? Um, so that's how many suction cups I need for one tank. The other flower horn tank with the dividers, uh, the dividers are like wedged in there, so it doesn't really matter that the suction cups are dead. It doesn't move. The dividers don't move, I mean. This is getting... I can't get these on. Alright, I'm going to go and do the rest of these. Alright guys, <clears throat> i got the microphone attached to the light. Let's see how that goes. I'm actually... i got an email road about the microphone. I'm so bummed. Brand new and it doesn't work. Um, <clears throat> so... I'm not going to sugarcoat it, I hate putting these on, so what do I do, it doesn't help, I've got the filter at the back there to battle, um, I just put the two, two at the back at the top, this divider needs to go that way, uh, two at the front, I don't know how well you guys can see, uh, I'm so used to wearing a mic that I'm not facing the microphone when I talk. I can't remember exactly where the dividers go, how far apart. And then once I get it in position, slide the bottom ones down, leave the top ones up. That simple. Now I just do that times five. Alright guys, talk about having a rough run with microphones. I just dropped my lavia mic in the water and then I 
pulled the cap off to clean it, I cleaned it and dried it out and now I've lost the foam cap. Absolutely no idea what to do with it. I put it somewhere safe. Who knows where that is. But anyway, tank set back up. Let's have a look. So I've got fish in here. There's six, hey? Six boys. Uh, I believe boys. I cannot 100% confirm. I'm not aware of their, how they identify. All right, so there, that's a um, F3, whatever boy, what do you call it? Magma Cross Vampire. Um, F1, White Eye, KZZ. Uh, so, yeah, then that's another, that's a F2 uh, Magma Vampire. Uh, F1, KZZ. Uh, this one's an F1 KZZ. I'm not sure that it's male. Uh, I'm really praying it is. Um, that one there and that one are brothers. Uh, and that is the mother. Those are the only two that I have from her. The other KZZ cross are from this girl here who's cleaning the plate. Uh, her tube's half down too. Um, and then this guy here, he's a KZZ F1 as well. So he's from her. Um, I'm hoping I can either, ideally, I want to breed this boy back to the mum. He's not the prettiest fish, but I think he'll be the, my best bet to line breed her. Um, he's definitely takes upon her traits and the low pearly and all that. Um, I'm, not, I'm not a full camp for nut, but to me, this guy here, has more of like the classic camp for colouring. Um, I'm just gonna have to give him time and pump him up. But at the moment, that guy there and that guy there, presuming that's a guy, is my only bet for F2 at the moment, which is kind of frustrating. It's really frustrating because you obviously want to use the best ingredients to create F2, and I don't think he's the best ingredient. Um, I think Rich is just too big now, he intimidates her. Um, yeah, so I don't know who to try with her next. Uh, yeah, kind of thinking just give her a rest until I can pump up one of these boys to try with her. Um, that guy there might also be big enough. but. Um, he doesn't have the traits that I want to cross with her. So the reason I chose Richard is see how red he is. She who lacks the red, she's a pink fish and the breeder that bred her, I have seen his lines and they do lack red and he knows that as well. So that's one thing he's trying to work on. But like you can see the red in him, like you can see why I chose him to go against her. Um, I'm interested to see how this guy here turns out. He might also be a valuable candidate to cross with her because he's red eye, but he's, a, he's got the white eyed gene. But if I cross him with her, we're still back at F1 and I want to get away from F1. All right, so I emptied the IBC and I put all the fish from the IBC in this tank here. Um, there's this guy here I'm thinking about culling, but We'll wait and see. I'll give him a week in this tank. There's a lot in here. I should really cull, but uh, for anybody wondering, oh, why don't you? Why do you cull? So this batch here was like 500 fish, and I haven't really. I've taken like 10 fish from it, but I've never culled from this batch. And if you look in here, there's like less than 20, and that's actually just from them fighting. Um, and the bigger ones have actually like fought to the death and I've ended up with like the littler ones. Um, so that's why you cull because you want to get rid of the ugly ones. Like you get these big ugly ones that um, wipe out the whole group and you need to get rid of those fish. I'm going to wrap it up there guys. Um, I, I put a couple of new little fish down the bottom tank but I'll show you guys them at a later date. Um, my light's flickering. I need to get the soldering iron out. 
and um, redo one of the joins. I need to get a switch, actually. The reason the joint is soldered is because the switch broke. But yeah, yeah, we're going to get a new switch. Um, anyway, what was the point? Oh, I'm going to wrap it up there, I think. Um, yeah. That was cool. That's the longest I've spent in the fish room for probably two months. Um, and I got shit done, which is pretty cool. Uh, so I cleaned this tank and I guess one note I would like to add before I leave. Um, if you're cleaning a tank and it's got debris in it, I feel like personally getting 95% of that debris but only doing only losing like 10% water I feel like that's better than getting 99% of the debris but draining the tank by 70% and then shocking the fish when you fill it back up so it's a pretty simple little point but yeah just think about how much water you're taking out and whether it's worth that extra 4% of debris. Um, sometimes it's not. But anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. If you want to subscribe for more, hit that little red button and I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace out.